Hi, my name is Adam Chase with Zoe, and with me today I have Nathaniel Root and Robin Day, and together our team name ends up being the Crossing Guards. The mission is to monitor the security of our country's border. Our vision statement is that we want to have the most cost-effective drone implementation for this border security use. Our origination is that we founded for the remote surveillance of the United States border. And the strength of our company is that we're making drones that will easily fly in an autonomous search pattern, as well as being able to manually be given control over. The idea for this was we were going to take drones, tether them, so that way they would always be charged and be able to be up in the air on any border that we choose. Um, we were going to have them fly a certain search pattern, uh, whatever we did, we paint to them, and then that way they would be able to supervise and watch over the uh, idea of like on the border. Um, so we would have a backup drone for every original drone. That way if something happens, whether someone tampers with it or you know, simple maintenance, it needs to come down, we'll send that second one up. So right here we have a diagram of the border and then these four circles down here, they will represent where our drones will be flying. We plan on having at least 10 up at once and each circle about a mile in diameter. So each drone will be patrolling that. The drone we're planning on using is the Golden Eagle by Teal. It's a part of Blue EUAS, which is a published document that shows all the approved drones that are used by the American government. Um, it has also already been used by the American government and military. It has a infrared camera as well, which is used for nighttime use. It's small, it's lightweight, and it has optical avoidance, and easily autonomously programmed. So weather is always gonna be a problem when dealing with drones because due to rain, anywhere like rain, wind shear, and or thunderstorms. So for example, our southwestern borders, we normally expect wind temperate winters, long hot summers, and much rainfall, where in the north we expect colder weather and probably windier. But uh, so for that, we need to make sure our drone is waterproof or at least water resistant. And then as far as the search pattern that we would be flying, it would be kind of in an oval shape, similar to this one here, the spiral search pattern. Uh, it'll be, like Adam mentioned, half, uh, half a mile in diameter, and then this search pattern here is actually very effective. It's used by other like crime scene units when they need to identify that, and we're going to geofence each drone so that way it stays on our side of the border so we don't have any other conflicts with any other foreign militaries. So the tether is essential to this project. Uh, the drone will be constantly tethered, both of them, the main and the support drone and the tether will act as a means of constant supply of power. And this image that you can see is not the Golden Eagle, our drone, but it is just for representation. So we have many hazards when, deal when flying drones from weather, as we mentioned before. Uh, there's birds in the sky, which we will use, avoid, and detect systems in order to avoid them. And then also foreign military, due to the fact that we are working close with our borders, but do, as we mentioned before, we will be geofencing these drones so that should not present any problems. As far as maintenance goes, you need to take care of the drone in any basic maintenance way. Every once in a while, you need to pull it down, check its props, check the batteries, make sure nothing's going odd with that, update it with their software updates. Um, but while it is in the air, like, we, like I mentioned, we have that backup drone that if it notices anything wrong, it'll land, someone will come out, check on it, fix it however it needs to be and then that backup drone will go and just continue flying the search pattern. So although there are some existing ideas that the U.S. government is currently using, uh, they're not using anything to the scale that we plan to or the continuous use. Right now they're currently using fixed wing or battery uh, powered UAS and our project will have constant control and supply of power. Thank you for listening and we appreciate your time.